I want to tell you something interesting about the Esperanto language. Esperanto is a universal, international and invented language. It was specially created in such a way that it could be easily understood, mastered and broadly adopted. Within an hour, you can master the logic of this language and familiarize yourself with its rules. There are only 16 of them. And within a week, you will be able to calmly communicate, at least in correspondence online in Esperanto communities, with anyone in the world. Indeed, in the large cities of any country, there will certainly be people who already know Esperanto. To learn some standard level of German, it will take you 2000 hours. To learn the same level of English, you will need 1500 hours. To study the same level of Italian, 1000 hours. And for Esperanto, only 150 hours. A child in half a year can master Esperanto to the same level as they could French in about 5 to 6 years. Esperanto is from 8 to 10 times simpler than any other foreign language. I should also mention that the language is more than a hundred years old and many famous people knew Esperanto. About Esperanto, Liu also wrote, The ease of teaching it is such that, having received Esperanto grammar, a dictionary and articles written in this language, after no more than two hours of classes, I was able to read in this language if not to write. The time that a person spends learning this language is so insignificant and the consequences can be so enormous that this attempt cannot be made. And Jules Verne wrote the following. Esperanto is a simple, flexible, harmonious language that is equally suitable for both elegant prose and harmonious verses. It is able to express all thoughts, all even the most refined feelings of the soul. It is the perfect international language. The famous science fiction writer Harry Harrison also studied Esperanto and actively promoted it in his works. In August 2009, the Brazilian president Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva in a letter expressed the hope that over time Esperanto will be accepted by the international community as a convenient means of communication that does not provide privileges to any of its participants. In 1991, Pope John Paul II first addressed more than a million young listeners in Esperanto. In 1993, he sent his apostolic blessing to the 78th Esperanto World Congress. Since 1994, the Pope has been congratulating Catholics around the world on Eastern Christmas, and among other languages, he addressed his audience in Esperanto and his successor Benedict XVI has continued this tradition. Some European politicians and even entire parties have proposed the introduction of Esperanto as an auxiliary language of the European Union. They believe that this will make inter-language communication in Europe more effective and equal, while solving the problem of European identification. A small party called Europe Democracy Esperanto participated in the elections at the European level, gaining 41,000 votes in the 2009 European Parliament elections. Esperanto enjoys the support of a number of influential international organizations, such as UNESCO and the United Nations. The Esperanto section of Wikipedia contains 277,000 articles and is ranked 32nd which is more than, for example, sections in Hebrew, Bulgarian and Hindi. Esperanto publishers exist in Russia, the Czech Republic, the USA, Italy, Belgium, the Netherlands and other countries. A huge amount of literature has been written in Esperanto. Poets write poetry in this flexible language. There are feature films and documentaries in Esperanto. Likewise, there are musical groups that record songs in Esperanto. There are many radio stations around the world broadcasting Esperanto in China, Poland, Cuba, Brazil, Australia and other countries. There is online TV in Esperanto. The International Academy of Sciences in San Marino uses Esperanto as one of its working languages. Here you can get a bachelor's or master's degree 
that is taught in Esperanto. Since 1996, an educational institution has been operating in the Polish city of Bydgoszcz, which trains specialists in the field of culture and tourism, and teaching is conducted in Esperanto. Again, in general, in the large cities of any country, there are Esperantists who can be found via the Internet. They unite in communities, organize annual conferences in different cities of the world, which bring together several thousands participants. Esperantists help each other with tips about traveling. They can provide housing or share necessary information about their city and country with members of the Esperanto community. Esperanto is the most successful of all the artificial languages in terms of distribution and adoption. In 2014, the World Esperanto Association had members from 120 countries. In the Esperanto group on Facebook, there are about 22,000 people from all over the world. The Google Translate app has been supporting Esperanto since 2012. In the same year, the Esperanto keyboard for smartphones with the Android operating system became available. With the development of the Internet and globalization of the whole world, Esperanto also began to develop much more actively, because now it is easier than ever to connect with each other and grow the community. In the description of the video, there will be links to other materials about Esperanto and video tutorials. As Esperantists say, Bye.